Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today we're taking a look at iOS 13 developer beta eight. Now the software has been out for approximately five days as of the filming of this video. And I'd like to share with you guys, as you already know, my follow-up thoughts and experience with the software. We talk about battery performance, any bugs, any crashes, and even any additional new features and changes. And I have to say, Apple definitely, definitely finally fixed a few things that I wanna share with you guys. Now I've been testing iOS 13 developer beta eight on the iPhone 10R for about a week and the iPhone XS Max and I wanted to share that experience with you guys and of course in this video we also talk about your thoughts I did post a YouTube community poll where you guys can come back weekly and check upon and vote and express your thoughts we're going to be talking about your experience with the software and what some of the issues are currently ongoing within the iOS 13 developer beta 8 and finally we will talk in this video the expected release date for beta 9 as well so let's just dive right in now first up if you want to grab the wallpaper links will be in the description down below it's a really cool one i really like this one here but let's go ahead and talk about some of the features and changes if you follow me here on the channel you know that on my initial coverage we talked about the haptic touch or 3d touch menu platters that we get when we 3d touch on icons some of these menus have been refined everything seems a lot cleaner some of the icons have been adjusted as well as additional options have been added to this particular platters when you 3d touch or haptic touch on icons now in the activities application over the past month of workouts that i've had i've noticed that the trends categories here has been syncing a lot better with watch os everything is syncing right in time and menus and titles and descriptions have been adjusted slightly within some of the menus and everything just seems to be flowing very very nice within the ui now i also want to talk about some of the improvements and fixes that apple has done with ios 13 developer beta 8 and i'm very very happy to announce some of these starting with the emails application now if you have multiple emails linked to the email application in ios you probably came across a ton of issues with composing emails loading emails even email threads combining one with the other that had nothing to do one with the other i mean i had a ton a ton of issues with the emails application from beta 1 all the way to beta 7 and i'm happy to announce that over the past several days i have not had one single issue with the emails application emails are loading properly i can compose messages properly threads seem to be proper as well and the actual performance of the application is working very very well now this is very important I use the emails application every single day in iOS. Now also the files application, again, everything is syncing properly. It looks like a lot of these syncing issues that iOS was encountering in previous betas has been definitely addressed with the latest beta eight, as well as some of the editing tools and editing issues within the photos application, where the photos application would crash if you would scroll too quick or maybe try to edit something, it would crash. I've encountered multiple issues within the photos application, and it appears that iOS 13 developer beta 8 has definitely addressed a ton, a ton of issues and bugs and crashes as well. Very, very happy to announce that. So now I want to go ahead and shift my attention over to the YouTube community poll. This is one of the most important pieces of the puzzle. This is where you guys provide me with feedback. You also vote and express your thoughts and your issues within the latest software. We'll go over some of the most popular comments here. By the way, these are posted on a weekly basis. So every time there's a new iOS 13 beta, you can come back to the channel a few days later and you can vote and express your thoughts. Right now we have 6,000 800 votes and a 63% including myself have a great experience with the latest beta a 30% okay still some bugs and up a 1% unfortunately is the bad experience so it's at a 7% so let's dive into some of the comments here so one of the most popular comments is when opening links like YouTube or Spotify takes you to website or the App Store now unfortunately I have not encountered these types of issues but it looks like some of you guys are definitely encountering issues with that the second most popular their comments scrolling fast enough through the photos application will cause it to crash i've experienced that from beta 1 to beta 7 but on the iphone 10r it appears to be fixed however older devices like the iphone se appear to continue to have this issue within photos crashing when scrolling fast enough now another major issue something that i've heard from you guys on youtube twitter instagram etc is that the brand new optimized battery charging option under battery health isn't working properly for most of you guys that owned older devices and i 
continue to hear this, so I'll have to test this myself, but it looks like the optimized battery charging option isn't working properly for you, especially iPhone SE owners. Next most popular question, found a new feature. When optimized battery charging is on, there's a notification saying when the battery will be full. Now, I haven't come across this uh, new notification that tells you when the battery will be fully charged after the optimized battery charging feature is activated. If you guys have that notification, please send it to me through Twitter so that I can share that here on the channel. It looks like there's a new type of notification. If the optimized battery charging feature is working properly for you, that lets you know when the battery will be fully charged. I think that's really, really cool. I want to see that. Uh, works great on the iPhone XS battery life. So it looks like the iPhone XS, and I have to say that the iPhone XS, uh, XR in my case, and the iPhone XS Max have been having great battery life. I can't complain the software, the scrolling, the battery, everything has been working very, very, very good for me. I'm happy to announce that Apple has finally fixed some of the major syncing issues within the application that we previously talked about and I'm very happy with the performance of the latest beta nonetheless. So when can we expect iOS 13 and developer beta 9? Well, if Apple continues on their weekly release cycle and you're watching this video Monday the 26th, in about two days, Wednesday, August the 28th, we will most likely see the next beta for iOS 13, iOS 13 developer beta 9. We're coming to the end of the cycles here, guys. It looks like Apple is soon to be sending out maybe another beta beta at beta 10 and then or beta 9 and beta 10 and then the gold master copy and we should be ready to go ios 13 should be released to the general public as i continue to say anywhere from september 16th through the 20th so it looks like we're that much closer the software continues to be polished up there's a few things that still need to be fixed like the fonts fonts are still not working properly on the latest beta and the audio sharing features are not working as intended as of yet either with the latest betas hopefully beta 9 will bring those improvements and much much more i just wanted to share this information with you guys i hope you guys enjoyed the video thank you for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one peace